So we're back for one more episode of Minecraft, and I've read those comments. There's a lot I need to be doing with this series. People talking about enchantment tables. People saying I've got to find more diamonds, got to find the ender dragon. And these are all things we're actually going to be doing very soon, but the longer I sit this intro, the longer we spend not doing it. We're back to Minecraft Part 9. What the? Dude, why is the... You've got to be kidding me. Why is there a creeper in my... There is no way this situation is happening right now. Look, dude, you ain't blending in. I see you. Oh my God, I'm kind of glad I got the bow and arrow right now, dude. Okay, we got to ready this thing up. Here we go. Here we go. Make these shots count right now, okay? Bro, those spinners ain't going to deflect these crossbows to your forehead. Take the shot. That was... Nope. I think I hit him. Shut up, big spud time. How the freak am I going to get around this? Hang on, wait. If I get close... I'm not even gonna risk it, dude. And yes, I did build that, by the way. I got carried away. I'm gonna have to build it real high, man. I'm gonna have to take pop shots down at this dude's forehead. It is the only way. I'll make you regret ever spawning in there right there, my dude. Get the freak out of my grow pen. Christ is averted, man. What the freak? Dude, spawning straight in there, though? Are you kidding? We light this whole back row up each side right now. There is no way I'm running that risk again. Oh yeah, I didn't do the intro. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Dude, we're back, and in this episode, I want to get a lot done for this. But before we do that, let's take a look at the base, okay? Apart from the small creeper antics at the start, crops growing through. And someone actually gave me an interesting tip, which I'm going to try with this machine very soon. Take a look at these newts right now, growing on through. I mean, I would say nicely, but you know, look at the condition of these things. Are they really normal? Could probably harvest those. And yes, with the nether portal, I ended up building this thing into like a demon eye. I thought it looked pretty sick. So before we go any further with this episode, I did go ahead and do a few more things off camera, guys, because this game is just too much fun. We go in here. I have 16 now of the blaze rods because I went back down to the nether to do a bit of farming. I've also got a few of these eye of enders by using the blaze powder and also the things that the endermen drop. Now, one more thing before I forget, this buried treasure map, this is going straight in here because we Perfect. are going to get this done as well for this episode. There's a lot I want to do for this one. I do want to make the enchantment table. Uh, let me just actually see how we do that because I may be able to make a decent start and get things moving straight away. Okay, the enchantment table here, you need four obsidian, two of the diamonds, and a book. Now, I haven't actually been able to make any of the books. Wait, how the freak do we even make one? Books, books, books. Right here, okay. So, three of the paper and then one of the leather. So, I no. imagine we've got to you know, kill an animal no. for that. Well, that's fantastic. No. Dude. Why is there literally 28 creepers on this one? Like, I remember that used to be like Creeper Island right now. These dudes inhabited this one here. We gotta clear this out. Listen, these dudes though, they're out here literally taking the island where I want to build the treehouse. I gotta get some stuff on this thing, man. Like torches, stop them spawning. Hey, bro, how about you sit down? Yeah, that should be good. Okay, that's two. Final one right here then. This one should be the killer shot, quite literally. And there we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We literally... Dude, they can hit you underwater. Dude, back off. Look at this. What are you doing? Oh my god. I got a jacket potato in hand right now. Dude, I can't literally see them. I gotta get out of this. Hold up. Did the skeletons just straight up sink to the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that takes care of them. As for this dude, uh, you already know what's gonna go down. Okay, back to the plan, which should have been, like, super simple. First of all, give me that gunpowder. I've got quite a lot of this stuff, and I don't think I've ever done anything with it. Let's just throw some torches on the corners here. We gotta stop these things spawning on this island completely. Okay, that's probably more than enough. Uh, you know, I should probably be a bit extra just to confirm it. All right, there we go. Just a reminder as well, I'm sure I've mentioned, but this island I'm saving for the VR episode where we're gonna build the treehouse then. I feel like that would be interesting to build whilst looking at things in the VR perspective, and I guess we'll, like, explore the lands and stuff. Okay, but now we're actually going to get started with this objective a little bit more. I want to see what this treasure map is all about. Like, we're part nine, and this is the first time I'm doing this. Okay, what, what the fr- what is that? Okay, hold that on the other hand and hold this one here. Dude, what the heck am I looking at right now? Is that like, maybe a zoomed in part where the desert is right there? Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Why the freak does it do that? Like, look at this. Hold up a second. Is it the magma things down below? Oh, it is. Look, there's like a row of them. So maybe that was what was causing it all that time ago. All right. But for the meantime, let me check out this treasure map a little bit more. I don't understand how we're supposed to access that point there. Like, I'm already off the map by this point here. So kind of concerning. Hold up. Let me just stop up here a second. I'm going to jump out of the boat. Okay. That way is back home. Oh, dang. Look at this little cavern here, dude. That's interesting. Maybe uh, we can find some diamond down there. Could always look for some because, yeah, this is a pretty developed cave system. Yeah, I don't understand how we're going to find that dude that could be anywhere and i don't really want to go off my map because that's always a worry of mine so nope. i think i'm gonna call off for now however guys we're gonna try and find some leather or rather you know get some leather by finding it after we do the uh you already know not really a fan of this but i gotta make a book i actually want to read all right i think we have to shoot these with the crossbow unfortunately oh man look at this poor little thing look how sweet it is man okay, let's just do it dude it gave me the leather i'm so sorry buddy i really am wait hold up okay scratch that wait i just got raw rabbit that's dope all right where's the next one at? this is gonna be lit guys let's go hold up so with the rabbit thing 
Do I? Is that how I make leather? Like, I really hope I didn't just kill that senselessly. Yeah. So I, I joked about, you know, the whole finding another one to kill. I think I gotta find four to make one leather. There's buddy number two. Look, man, he probably just went out for a stroll today. And now this is how it's gonna end. Bruh. Yeah, okay. Hey, just got back and it started raining. Nice, I think this is the first time I've ever seen it rain in Minecraft. It's kind of interesting. All right, dude, so we've got some of the rabbits cooking away, you know, in that thing right there. Now, with the leftover stuff, let's go ahead and make some books, or rather the leather. So, I got nine in total, so we can make two of these. Okay, all right, take some of the paper from there, and then to make a book, you know what, let's just auto-fill this thing in right here. And I think, you know, I'm gonna make at least two of those. Nope, oh, no, okay, no. I can only make two, that's fine. But from this point on, let me just see the obsidian count right here. We've got four, and I think the crafting table only did need four, so let's do this. Two of them diamonds, we gotta find some more in due time. All right, here we go, man. This is kind of exciting, so I think it's within this category here. Okay, definitely not. This one here, the enchanting table. We do have all the means to make this, my dude. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, now I've gotta learn to even use this enchanting table. I think I'm gonna place it maybe here at least for now. What the freak, so we click on this. What even is this? So wait, hold up, we need a book for this thing. Now we've got almost requirements. Look at this, power one, aqua affinity, what the? Okay, so enchantment level. What does that mean? Lapis lazuli. We've got 18. Hang on a second. Let me take this over. It said three of these and then just one of the books, I think. Throw that in there. And then we can make any of these two right here. So power one with loads of question marks and stuff like that. Listen, even if this is a bad call, I've got to make something like this to learn. We made an enchanter. So put that there. Now, how can we enchant our items? Because that's the whole point in this. Okay, Google. Enchantment table Minecraft. According to Minecraft Wiki, Gamepedia, when a bookshelf is placed next to an enchanting table, Wait, what? increase the maximum enchantment level. There must be 15 bookshelves around the enchanting table in order to obtain the maximum enchantment level of 30. I just asked what the enchantment table was, and this thing has just told me. If you put books, hold up, get the freak out of my face. If I go into the crafting, I saw some books right here. So we need three books and lots of jungle planks. Can we use any variation for that? We can, so we can do oak plants as well. But the books, we've got to find a better way to make that because getting the leather this way will take a long time. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to put the enchantment book right there just for at least now. What? I know I probably can use it, but guys, bear with me. Okay, so we just slept the night away, dude, and it looks like the storm is now passed. But I've got to find another way to get even more of this enchantment stuff. Now, my guess is that you can maybe obtain leather from killing other kinds of animals. So, unfortunately, i got to go on track and try and find some. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> It's time to go on a little bit of an adventure right now. We are gonna sail basically from here all the way to here. That's at least the last spot I remember seeing a lot of animals and unfortunately guys, like needs must right now, I gotta start reading this good stuff. I wanna start enchanting all of the various items I got. I also wanna start making more diamond stuff because we have the means to do so. For now guys, this is gonna be an absolutely beautiful sailing experience and we're gonna get started right now, so let's do this. <clears throat> oh, I didn't go clip right now, hold on. And guys, we're back and already, I'm seeing many potential targets right here. Stop off a sec. So, are these donkeys right now? Because that's a very small horse. <laughs> Definitely confirmed. <laughs> Wait, did he just insult my YouTube career? No, you freaking don't, my dude. You don't say that to me, okay? You don't get away with that. That felt horrible. That was really horrible. All right, it did give me a leather, though. So, yeah, I think I'm going to, you know, get some more leather off camera, guys, because I hate doing this on camera. Okay, thanks for the leather. All right, well, that was short-lived. I found two and I can't see any more. You know what, what's the wait? Hold up a second. That's a different kind of wood right there, my dude. Let's get some of this stuff. Let's see what it is. That is some birch log. That's gonna be cool to build with. Or is that the exact same as that tree right there? Before I go hopping back to the boat, though, I want to do a little bit of exploring around here. I want to see if I can find a potential horse. It would be nice to be able to ride quickly around the land. And just having a horse in general, I mean, come on right now. It's a requirement of Minecraft, right? Ooh, got some cows here. Now, do you think they drop leather right now? Kind of suspect that they do when he gives me that glare. Uh, yeah, me too. Okay, and I think he dropped a leather. Yeah, we gotta do this. Okay, so we came over here, decently successful. I think I've got like five leather. Okay, I've got four leather right now. So yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. We can make up to like four more books with that. That is more than enough, at least for this point here. Okay, now I'm gonna spend 8,000 minutes sailing back, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so Treehouse Island is actually looking pretty decent right now. Nothing spawning there. And I think as well, putting the lights there has taken care of any creepers spawning in the pen. Nice. Okay, so we did get four leather, so we can make four more books with that, and I think I may as well do that out of the way right now. Hold up, an item frame? 
What the heck is that? And also, the end crystal? I've never seen that before. All right, this crap's too spicy for me. What the freak is going on? All right, listen, I came here to make books and books I shall make. Now I've got four of those. But that was interesting about you've got to find like bookshelves for the enchantment table. So we could either build like a whole new room specifically for the enchantment table in due time. Or maybe we could try and find a place that has loads of bookshelves that we can like break in. I don't know if we find a civilization, if that's the way we can do it. Or if there's another means for it. Okay, guys, I have no idea. I'm literally guessing here. All right, you know what? We're going to store some of this stuff away right now. You know, it's can sadly go back. Didn't find one of them horses. Okay, and it is nighttime as well, so I'm gonna do my usual Enderman hunt right now. I mean, we may just as well try and find as many of these things as we can right now. No effect of the crossbow is against one, actually. Yo, fellas, any of you seen an Enderman? You know, tall dude, weird looking. Okay, look, I'm gonna get out of here. I think they wanna kill me instead. All right, we found one here last time. There's one more again. What the heck? It's like a spawning location for them. So, all right, stare at the dude, trigger him. Yeah, you do look kind of weird. Yeah, take some pops. Nice dodge. That was pretty good, to be fair. So, wait, do they always dodge these? They do, so you gotta take them down manually. Big Fally, you can There we go, that's one hit. Okay, then he always comes back down. Come on, my dude, get out of the tree. Let's get this- Wait, did he just hurt himself right there? Now, I do wonder if maybe they're coming from the cave system right there. There we go. Please drop one. No. Nope. Are you- He didn't even drop one, are you kidding? Oh, man. All right, maybe we should investigate down here, though, because I did see this last time. Got one right there. Ooh, this is kind of hollowed out nicely, man. Look, it goes down quite a bit. Opens out. Okay, that's a zombie look. You ain't no end of my- Get out of my face! Get the freak out of here, man. Oh my god, that's- That's get the- <laughs> Hold up! Okay, there's a point above. That, <laughs> that explains that. Hmm. There's not really that much down here, you know, in the grand scheme of things. I thought there might be a bit more. Let's- Maybe this is it. Ooh, this dips down. Oh yeah, this dips down quite a bit. Okay, and there's one of them there. Alright, let's mine down a little bit. Alright, we're about to take this dude's forehead out right now. That's it, you're dead! How the- Wait, how did he actually hit me right there? That's insane. Are you kidding? Get the heck out of here, man. All right, before we go any further in this thing, let me mine some coal. We've already got to make some more torches. And I think I do have some of the birch too. Okay, so this did come in handy after all. Wait, why am I doing this again? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I think I was trying to find like an Enderman hotspot, maybe down in these mines or something like that. Oh man, this one descends rapidly. This is great because this is going to get us down the layers real quick. Yeah, we're layer 34 at the moment and you find diamond after like level 12, I think maybe. Let's try and find a nice safe way down here. Oh, this is awesome. I love it when the cave systems do this, like a big narrow path. So we're at layer, let's see, 19. So we could actually find some diamond around here. Uh, this one is really good, dude. There's some of the uh, redstone right there. Let's check this way out first. Yeah, as for the diamond armor for this episode, guys, uh, yeah, I've got it at the workshop or something like that. I mean, I do have it there, sorry, I don't know why I said it, or something like that. I'm speaking factual right now. But if we do find the end portal or whatever it's called, maybe we can take it on in diamond armor. What's what that like button's doing? Okay, there's nothing that side, but this big open space, this is gonna be exciting. Surely we're gonna find at least something here. Okay, a lot more of the lapis lazuli, and this is used for enchantment blocks, so we will take some of this. This is now equally as important, if not more, than diamond, because we've already got some. All right, more gold. Why aren't you diamond, though? I see diamond! There you go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so, first of all, you can be quiet, okay? Pop him in the lava right there. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of sad, to be honest, I mean. Okay, do I need to fight him, really? I'm just gonna watch. Okay, he hit himself with the arrow there again, and he's gonna die any moment. And again with the arrow, nearly. What about if I deflect it up a little bit? Okay, I think that's such a him. Incredible, just incredible. Right, I'm making sure this diamond is very safe, man. I wanna get this. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get some diamond. Okay, we've got at least four this time. That's a four yield. Again, that's decent, and that makes at least one diamond weapon, or at least something else. Bro. Don't mess with me, I'm a gamer. That's what happens. Oh my god, is there a spawner in there or something? I keep getting attacked by these dudes, and my health is dwindling quite low. Okay, right in that hole there, I think there's a spawner. Yeah, there's definitely a spawner in here. For now, I'm just gonna block this up, just to stop the annoyance. Dude, this cavern is incredible. It's really, really cool how there's like so much water flowing freely. This does trail up a little bit though, but let's see if there is maybe any more diamonds nearby. I feel like we did get semi-lucky with the ones we found. Wow, that is so cool. There's literally a way out into the ocean from this point. Hang on, one more look at this. That is insane, man. Really, really cool. Hang on, there's a whole other way here, dude. Let me try and like get through a little bit. Okay, that's still in the water. That's not safe. I bet there is at least some diamonds around here somewhere, you know? Oh, gosh, it's making me nervous. Like, I want to investigate this, but at the same time, my phobia is of, like, water and it being really deep. I don't really think I can. I'm going to have to leave it for now. All right, this here seems like a pretty safe pocket of obsidian, so I'll probably mine some of this and I'll take it back because, I mean, why not? We're here at the moment. Couldn't really find any more diamond, and I don't want to go digging for any because I think four more is an... 
freak. Where'd it go? Okay, you know what? We're done here, man. Four diamonds still isn't bad. Also got some obsidian watch towers down here, and I do know where it is, so if I do need to come back, you already know what we're doing. Literally, the only thing I gotta keep doing now, though, is finding more of the ender, man, and just keep, I guess, farming the eyes. Oh, look at that. It's night time again. See if we can do the same thing again. Again, right near this cave system. I don't really understand. They always spawn here. Bro, I ain't complaining, so he's coming over. Oh, can these zombies not? What the heck? Dude, why does it sound like it's underneath me? What the heck? That's creeping me out for some reason. Okay, there's two hits. Come back, fella. That's it. Nice and close. Wait, there's another one in the tree up there as well. Let me stare at this. See if I can trigger him at the same time. I don't think I can. Maybe he's got to look at me. Come on, one more shot, I think. So he's done. Please drop one. Did he, he didn't drop one again? Okay, there's the other one here. Okay, when we stare, we run back to the wall. Let me see. Come on. Look this way. Okay, he sees me, he sees me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, come on. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. All right, I think you see me. Okay, run back to the wall. Oh, boy. Come on, there we go. Were well, you building with that block, huh? You about to build your own little grow space or something crappy like that? There we go. There! That's what we need, so one more, finally. That's all we can really do for this. We just keep coming back here, and we gotta farm the enders as much as we can. That's kind of crazy, though. Like, I killed three of those, and I only got one singular one of the eye things. It just made me think as well, I wonder if there is a way we can make them spawn in. Like, there's a reason this spot specifically on this island is what is triggering them or something like that. I, I don't know, guys. I don't care. I got one of them. I'm going back to base. Okay, so now that we're back, I think, you know, I might actually start messing with these eye of enders. I think you throw them, and then they, like, take you somewhere or something like that. Man, knowledge on this crap is so low, dude. Like, I gotta learn one way or another. Okay, now we are also definitely gonna make a diamond sword. If we've got, like, the power enchantment, it makes sense why we would do this. There we go. I know we don't have diamond armor and all that bull crap, dude, but look, I'll take a diamond sword any day. Let's see how this whole enchantment thing works, then. Do I drop it on this? How, what do I do? All right, so for this, I think we have to make an anvil. I was wondering what is the purpose behind that, so let's see how we even create one of these things. Right. Hold up. Do I not have the ability to make one of those? To craft an anvil, so the wiki says it, you need a lot of iron, dude, so... Do I even have that much? Let me see. I've got 37. I think I might just have enough, actually, to make the anvil. Holy crap, this is gonna use a lot of resources, though. You need three blocks of the iron, and then I think four iron down below, so that's like 31. Holy crap, dude. You know what, let's go ahead and do this crap. Okay, like this. That's how you make an anvil, and apparently we need that, so I may just as well. We'll put this right next to- Okay, we click on this. Aha! Place that there with the sword. Okay, what the freak is this output? Why is it not working? Wait, repair name? Okay, make sword better. Says that it can actually do that. Is it maybe only for the pickaxe? Let me see. Okay, so I can only assume this isn't correct. I guess the book doesn't work with that specific item. Let me just, like, throw another stuff. Um, Hi. yeah, I really have no idea how this works. Honestly, that's fine, though, because we can always figure that out in due time. Like, for this episode, we're not going crazy with the stuff we do. And, you know, I can always get more iron, so it didn't really matter that I used it all to make the anvil. Okay, I'm gonna make the eye vendor as well. I think that gives us around about four or five of those. Okay, we've got five. That's not bad at all. I think you guys know why I just made that. I think to win this episode, I at least want to try out what these things do. Again, like, we've got five of them. I can make a lot more if I really need to. Supposedly, though, what you do is you leave this place, you throw one in the air, and it will guide you to towards what's called like a fortress or some like underground thing and it will locate basically where you can fight the end boss. Let's right click. The heck? Okay, so we follow it like this. Bro, that I literally used it once and it broke already. Throw another one out. So look at this. It takes you on a path and then you follow it. Don't break. Okay, so sometimes you can get multiple uses. Give me that. So it took me in this direction, but if there's a chance that they can break, do I really want to just keep throwing them? Because I could travel in the same direction and just, like, maybe head to that point. All right, you know what? It's becoming nighttime. Uh, I'm going to put these back. I want to kill some more of those ender dudes. I want to try and get more. <laughs> yep, that was a complete waste of time. All right, you know what, man? We're going back to plan A. Now, one thing I definitely need to do, even though I don't really want to, is i got to expand this map even more so. All right, map goes on there. We combine that with one more piece of paper. All right, that's better. We have lost the data we had before, but it doesn't really matter. Now we've got a lot more area to explore. All right, guys, just had a sleep. Now I think it's time we go ahead and try and find this thing, okay? So we're gonna start doing this. Now, if I remember roughly, we threw it and it went in this direction here. So I'm gonna keep traveling in this straight line. I may as well. It doesn't matter if these turn out to be a waste. I mean, we'd have to do it anyway. And if they're gonna break, they would have broken at that point. But I suppose on the map, we can almost build like a line because I can see the new route I'm traveling. So this might be for the best. Try and keep this. A nice straight line. By the way, this music coming in, I don't know if this is truly appropriate for finding, like, the end game stuff, but we're gonna rock with it. Let's see what happens. Fail. You missed. All right, I'm just gonna keep going with this, man. Let's see. I think I might throw one in the air because, yeah, I'm getting towards the edge of the island where I've started. That's interesting. Okay, so we get here. Now, let me cast this in the air. I pretty much went in a perfect straight line. Don't break, don't break, please. Okay, thank goodness for that. Okay, well, this is taking us on basically the ocean, so I've got to go back for the boat then. Actually, no, skip that. I'll just build a new one. Put the boat down. Hop in this thing, but 
This is it, dude. This is where we can find exactly where we need to go. Cast it in the air just one more time. All right, this is our straight line then. Let me align myself right here. Don't break. Again, it still stays good. And don't you dare sink to the bottom right now. Yeah, this is going to be the problem with these. I've got to cast them in the air and get straight back underneath them, else I could lose them. So here's the plan right now. I'm going to sail in a dead straight line for like 30, 40 seconds because I don't know when these things break. It seems very luck-based. So because of that, let's just keep going forth. We might be finding, I guess, repeating land, which we discovered before. Regardless, we are now searching for the end game stuff, and this is pretty exciting. Okay, so that's like the mountains, which is full of stone and stuff like that. Cascading waterfalls all down it, and that is a boat we've looted in the past. I remember all this. Throw it in the air one more time. Let's see. Okay, we gotta get underneath this good stuff too. Okay, like so. Don't break. All right, grab it, grab it. Nice. So good job we got the map upgrade as well because like, I would have pretty much been off map by this point as well. Okay, so we now hit the shoreline and we're gonna hop straight off this thing again. Let's try this, dude. So throw it in the air. Let's see. We're still following this. Don't let it hit the floor and don't break, please. Dude, this one is lasting a long time. Thank you. And so... We keep moving with this, dude. A perfectly straight line, or as perfect as perfect can be. Wait, what? Right, look, I'm just walking over landscapes. I'm trying to sound smart. We're just gonna keep following this. Okay, we've run a while. Let's throw another one in the air. Still leading us in this direction, most specifically. Don't break, please, please, please. Oh my gosh, this one has given me some great use from it. Wait, hold up. It's kind of arcing me round, so maybe it's almost like confining me down a closer way to this point. That might be interesting. That could mean we're actually getting closer to this thing. Ah! Throw another one. Still taking us. This is gonna leave me like off map at this point, dude. Oh my gosh, how far away is this? I'm just gonna keep running, I think, until I get to the very border of this map. Otherwise, I don't know how we're even gonna get there. This is gonna take a long time and we might waste almost all of these Eye of Enders. Oh, look at this biome here. It's like a jungle or something or a swamp. Wow, hang on, is that a village over there too? No, it's just the tops of trees. Okay, throw it up again. Holy crap, dude. This is ridiculous, and the sun is setting too, so I've got to be mindful about that. In fact, I've got to be very mindful. I can't just keep running because I will get killed by the things that spawn in. I've got nothing to keep me safe, so I'm literally about to just haul up in a tiny 4x4 box down here, guys, and just... This is it. Lay the dirt overhead, literally sealing myself in. I'll put one torch just to, you know, feel somewhat at home, and I'm gonna have to wait this thing out. All right, well, that was really, really fun. Seriously. Wait, hold up. Did that just take me the other way? <gasps> Dude, that means it's near- <gasps> Holy crap, we're actually about to find it. Hang on. Throw it in the air. Look, it's taking me back on myself. I ran past it. Oh my goodness, that means we're getting really, really close. Okay, I'm gonna run fairly far back. Again, I don't want to use these eyes too much so they break. Let's try from about this point here. Yeah. <gasps> this is it. It's between this line here. Don't break, don't break. Thank you. Throw it one more time. Wait, what the freak? What did- what happened? Where did it go? Wait, hang on. Throw it one more time. That it's disappearing, and then it'll pop back in randomly? Does that mean I'm basically overhead? I don't understand. All right, hold up. Let me clear some of the crops here. I've got a suspicion that this is literally right where it is, down here. Throw it one more time. They're just not dis- they're disappearing completely, so where does it hit the ground? Let me see. It's around this point. We've actually just found it. Holy crap, right there on the map. So- Maybe this is it. I'm gonna have to start digging down. I might do like a three by three so we can get like a cascading staircase down as we do this. We've gotta be safe. How far down do we have to dig for this thing though, right? That's something I have absolutely no idea about. I definitely should probably think about making some torches. What? Wait, is that it? That's a different texture. Hang on, freak off there. Ah, uh, this might be it. Hold up. Do I break in? New recipe unlocked. Dude, I think we're really close. Holy crap, I spy. That's it. Oh my god, look at this. It's got like a staircase built in. We can just go ahead and confine ourselves straight in the path of this. Look at that. Dude, I'm hype. I did not think I was going to find one of these. Let's take a look down this. Whoa. It's all laid out. I can hear enemies everywhere down here. Holy crap, this is insane. Hold up, put the map away for a second. Now I got to get the sword out. This is risky stuff. Look at this. All sorts of ways. Okay, just spiders, that's fine. Take care of that. Look, it's like built into a cave system. This is interesting, so... Okay, I can see this. Take care of this guy here. Nice and easy. Let's get some illumination down here. This is just riddled with different ways through this. Whoa. Okay, we got creepers down here too. That's not good. All right, sort out. Here we go. All right, let him do his thing, actually. That doesn't really matter too much. Skeletons down here as well. This is why you need the shield, man. Come on, fire your bull crap. All right, there we go. Here's the second one too. 
There's one of these behind me too. Okay, you can get out of the way. There we go. Now let's take care of these two here. Wait, well, he's gonna shoot his buddy, right? There you go. Thank you very much for that, friend. And there we go. That's them two taken care of. What does... Okay, there's a lot of enemies down here. Come on, you can blow up my dude. There you go. Nearly taken care of this... What is that? What the hell? Hold up. Disgusting. What the fr I've never seen that before. I guess for now, I should probably just be more concerned with clearing this out as a space. So, look up a floor here. Another creeper. There's a chest here, okay? He's got some bread and then just redstone and an apple. Look at this. There is literally prison cells down here. This is so cool. Guys, I'm captivated right now. Hold up. That drops down quite a bit there. It's like a cave system. So, for now, we'll seal that up because I don't think that's a part of uh, this thing here. What the heck? They have libraries. So if we take the bookshelves back to base, we can, I guess, build the enchantment table up, right? To be honest, I don't really understand truly how the enchantment table works. Another chest right there. This goes down another layer too. Oh man, we'll figure that out in just a sec. Let me at least see what's back here first. Okay, this chest. Okay, an ender pearl. I may as well throw the rotten meat in there. And there is a spare iron helmet, so, you know, I will go ahead and take that. <coughs> so guys, I think all the dust down here is getting to me. Wow, look at that. It's like a chandelier, bookshelves, and they've got chests in here too. Let's take a look. Enchanted books is what? This is insane. This is so cool. I may as well take all of this paper. Nice. Holy crap. This is so cool. Okay, let me climb to the top and get a vantage down. Is there any more? of those things. Like, it just seems like this chest full of random books. Looks like there's only at least one for here. But this is really, really cool, man. You know, what I'm gonna do is get rid of this. Then I'm gonna take some books from the upper floor here. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. God damn it. Just made a wooden axe for the sake of getting through this a little bit quicker. Else, we are gonna be here literally all day. There is another chest. Holy crap. Look at all the inch... Dude, this is crazy. Like, and then we take this all back to base and find a way to use it. We've won the game. We have won the game. Okay, so now let's see if maybe we can get behind this door. If I can't break the door down, I'll just break the blocks around it. There we go. Break through there. Oh, man. This is really, really cool. It really is. All right, well, let's go down another layer. Let's see what this is all about. Maybe nothing. Seems to go into a cave system. Yeah, we ain't going down there. Right, this one's going down real deep right now. I'm not really sure what this one's leading to. Hold up. So there's a cave down there just kind of breaks off, but that does still lead on two parts of this area, so let's try and rebuild this a little bit. Okay. Wait, is this it? Hang on, so there's one of the spawner things there, that's what that is. Okay, spawns the slime things, okay, no problem, so let's take care of these, but I think this is it. Oh boy, there's a lot here, look at this. Right, you know what, I gotta slowly back up, dude. Oh my god, imagine if I get killed by these things right now. <laughs> look how many there is! Okay, I gotta get out of here, there's a lot. Look at that, they just despawn. They don't get to you in time, so shut the door. Let me see. Look, it like wiggles and then disappears. That's really strange. Okay, so this is our way down though. I found it, okay? What we need to do is definitely try and plan. I can't even remember how I got to this point, dude. I've got to backtrack. I've been playing for like two and a half hours by this point. Okay, I know exactly now where the thing is that we need to get to, which is like the, uh, that's the portal thing that you use to get to the very end of the game. There's a lot of mobs down there, and there's a spawner very close by, but I can take care of that in the next episode. So I think for now, let's just resurface. It is daytime. Dude, this was a crazy episode. I can't believe how much of this game I've just done. I guess for the next episode then, I might actually go back to base, equip myself with some new stuff, and you know, I might actually get back there off camera, but I know exactly where this end portion of the game is. And I can do that really by looking at the map like so. And so long as I travel in a straight line, I'm always gonna know where the point ends. That is exactly where we've got to get to. You know, I'm gonna absolutely cascade so many torches around this thing right now. We need to see this. And I don't want no monster spawning nearby. So, you know, let's put some like here, go here, here, and here. And then one more here. Okay, guys, this is where I'm gonna leave this episode anyway. Crazy stuff though, dude. The next episode could be the finale if all goes well, which it probably won't if I'm honest. There's so much that we have to learn, but we are getting towards the very end of the game, so I guess we'll see. And the camera died. For this one though, guys, this is where we're gonna leave it here, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.